If you think we're on the run We are the boys who will stop your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Attention! Stand at ease. Damn it, Jones. <clears throat> now listen here, men. Welcome to Civilization V Brave New World Dad's Army. Bet you didn't see this coming. Download the mod which brings the cast of Dad's Army, a classic British TV show about the home guard during World War II, into Civilization V. The leader is George Mannering of the Warmington on Sea Home Guard Platoon. We cannot gain settlers nor annex cities similar to Venice, but we get increased defence for all our melee and gunpowder units. Our, our city, Warmington on Sea, has increased strength against attackers, and we get more tourism from a whole lot of unique national wonders. We have Home Guard infantry. They're weaker than normal infantry, but they have unlimited movement in friendly territory. Swallows Bank, which is the replacement for the bank, increased gold and a bit of tourism and a bit of culture to boot. So, let's start this. Good evening to you, Captain George Mannering, manager of the Swallows Bank branch and leader of the Home Glove platoon of Warmington on Sea. While your previous family history suggested that you belonged in the lower classes of society, you fought like hell in order to reach a position of power in the community. You eventually earned the respect of many residents of this small seaside town, and answered your country's call to defend your beloved homeland in its darkest hour without hesitation. While you fortunately never had to face the vast armies of the Axis powers, you were still able to turn a ragtag group of shopkeepers and tradesmen and turn them into a crack home guard, home guard platoon. Captain Mannering, while your previous attempt to take over at Warmington on Sea and put it under martial law was unsuccessful, your courage, tenacity and iron will during the Second World War has inspired you to take up the role as leader of your great town and people, in the hope that you can lead them to prosperity and recognition on the world stage. Can you prove yourself as capable and a kind leader despite the scored people such as ARP Warden Hodges? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Now, as you can see here, we are allied with the English. We are starting in the Atomic Era. And we can go no further, because we are literally going to be in World War II. Then again, I suppose... The modern era... We... Yeah, they didn't have helicopters in World War II, but they did have tanks. Now, screw it. Right. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but the classic Dad's Army music is actually playing. I suppose we could be near... A, we can only have one city, Warmington on Sea, and ideally it should be by the sea. But I suppose we'll have to make do with it being next to a lake. Didn't realise Warmington on Sea was actually in jungle. Let's actually have a look-see around. See if we can find any other locations. No. Actually, that's by the sea. Hmm. We could lose a couple of turns to see if we can find a better location. Because we're on a Pangaea. If you didn't see already. And we have five floats. Cheeseman, Desmond, Elgood, Jones and Walker. <laughs> of course, Corporal Jones. And we'll definitely need him to start spotting. He'll stick it right up him. You know, we'll lose a couple of turns and put Warmington on sea by the sea. See, once we settle Warmington on sea, we won't be able to create use these settlers, so we might as well just delete them. But can't exactly use them for much exploring. I 
Oh, well, you never know. Right. So we've just got Queen Elizabeth of England. Glorious England. As for technology. We are set to research... Oh, yeah, we can't. No city. Now, it has been a while since I've played Civilization V properly. So I do apologise for any stupid errors or the like I end up making. Or silly misunderstandings. It's been a little while. I will settle Warmington on sea next turn. This will put us behind a little bit, but... We still, we should still have a few of these resources within our grasp. <laughs> They're all adopting autocracy. Yeah, no prizes for guessing who the other civilization is that we're at war, we're going to be at war with. I used game options to set always war on, so there will be no peace, and there won't be any city states either. But anyway, let's settle. The grand city of Warmington on Sea. Oh, do we really want to remove jungle? Now we construct a trading post, but we will construct a well here. Get a bit of oil. As we've action, there we are. Home Guard Infantry. And where are they? And look at all these unique wonders. The Crooked Ground, Godfrey's Cottage, Jones's Butchers, Fraser's Workshop, Walker's Black Market. It's brilliant. I love this mod. And anyway, I think we'll want something that can help search the sea. So I think... Mm, do you want to waste time building a submarine? Because I'm on a... We've, we're a few turns behind. We'll build Fraser's workshop for a bit of a production boost. And as for research, we will want combined arms, maybe? Radar? I've also got another mod which disables things like nukes, because I really don't want... There were no nukes until the end of World War Two, So I guess... I will go with combined arms, get access to some tanks. Plus, we can now... No. Oh, wait, because we might as well adopt autocracy as well. And see, with these settlers, we can't make any more cities. So we might as well remove them, so they can't get captured. Although maybe we could have given them to England, I didn't think of that until now. Oh well. See, like I said, I'm a little bit... Eh. What's the word? Uh, it'll, it'll, I'm sure my Civ 5 gameplay will return to me. Hang on. The other Civ's gone for order. Oh, we'll go autocracy. And we're going to go for elite forces... That could be helpful. And then we'll go for Total War, definitely. And then this. And then finally... The third alternative. Bonuses everywhere. Now in case YouTube gets a little bit iffy with the music as it has been in the past with my Civilization effect series I will turn down the music just in case now I need to find our enemies and they seem to be a little bit of a distance away the main problem is 
you can't see it right now, but the DX Tory frame rate thing is blocking my money income or the top bit here. I should have moved it, but it's a bit late to do that now. I can do it later. Right, so where are you going to settle your other two cities, England? We've got glorious London right down there. I definitely want to build a railroad to London. We found Mount Kidamenu, or however you pronounce it. Right, we've got Fraser's workshop. We'll definitely want. Uh, Walker's Black Market. We'll get all of the notable locations from Warmington on Sea built right away. Got George Mannering the Terrible. Next, to build the cricket ground. The glorious cricket ground of Warmington on Sea, where they had their cricket game against the AARP uh, Wardens. I want to get some more production for Minton on Sea. And we can also do the work work there to get those fish. Wilmington on Sea is a seaside town. It needs its fishing and it also needs its tourism because you know, seaside towns have tourism. And the Home Guard ability to ignore movement costs in friendly terrain. I believe that also counts for the terrain of allies, i.e. the people who are on the same team as you. So they definitely, you know, if you're able to get a whole load of terror... Oh, hello! We found them! Or at least I think we have. I think all fine eventually, but you can see that is a slightly different civilization. We just instantly cleared that forest. Wait, no. Do we have the money to buy? Oh, it's only 40 gold. Thank you, autocracy tenants. Start fishing. And you construct a lumber mill. We'll move all our units across. Still doesn't think we've found them. He's researching combined arms as well. Now we'll be able to build a submarine in one turn now. Let's build one and stop. Hello, 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 what's this? We found him. It's Hitler. Yep, I downloaded a mod which. This is only going to be a scout, so. Explore. Downloaded a mod which. Heck, which is Nazi Germany. Pretty similar to basic Civ Germany, except instead of. Uh, Lankishnets and the German bank replacement, they now have the Verdeschmatt infantry, which automatically starts with the Blitz promotion, enabling them to attack twice a turn. The German Blitz was known in the early stages of World War II. Oh, we definitely want Swallow's Bank. On his days off parade, Mannering, of course, needs his job. These guys will continue uncovering the rest of the terrain of the Germans. Come along now, men. For it, for England. Now, only thing about the colour of the uh Warmington on sea borders is it's quite difficult to see at times depending on the lighting. I don't know if you can actually see it, but we've only just gotten to that iron. The borders are very th they blend in quite well. I've got a barracks. We'll definitely want we'll build Jones's butcher, and I think that's gonna be 
Most of them. Next turn. And we could actually build the Warbington on Sea Navy and take over Munich that way. In the meantime, we'll surround it with these infantry that will move in as soon as we capture it. Right, choose production. No, oh, we can't build... Ah, I think we need a university before we can get Oxford University. So we'll get that next. Plus, we'll then be able to uncover these ancient ruins. Oh dear. German submarine. And we've now proven that the world is round. Everyone knows that Captain George Mannering was the person who discovered that the world is not flat. Oh, they've found Mount Kilimanjaro. Right, where is it? Oxford University. Get a free tech. Oh, speaking of which, I need to get Jones into the German cities. We want to find their capital first. There they are. Nazi German. Verdeschmatt. I think that's how you pronounce it. But we'll definitely want to get the spies in. Okay, Walker. Head to Munich. Cheeseman. Into Warminton on Sea. Got a free tech. And we want... We're all... We're about to get combined arms. So we might as well get... Radar. I'll get a national college so we can crank out a bit more science. <laughs> it's not imperative because there is no... It's domination victory only. Oh boy. The Verdish matter here. Stand your ground. It's going to be able to attack over the city, but I'm sure that great British infantry will be able to take it. Warmington on sea. You know what? We need to build us some home guard infantry. There will be first section. Jones's section. Get penicillin. Here they come. Oh dear. Oh, look out. Here they are. Right, now you are going to be... Sorry if you heard rattling there, but I had to move the mic to get to the keyboard. Now there's a lot of rough terrain around here. Ah, we can upgrade them to infantry. <laughs> nah. You know, you can just stay. We're going to primarily... There's Berlin. Jones, get into Berlin. They don't like him up him. They don't like it up him. In the meantime, we'll need to unite our forces because the Verdeschmatt are quite strong. Their empire is unhappy, but they've got a lot of modifiers in there working in their favour. Don't want any of those. Might as well take that. Fortified borders. Choose production. We're going to want to get a navy going, because that's probably going to be our almost ideal la, 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 la. ideal fighting method for taking on the Germans because of the strength of their infantry but I think it's time to draw this episode to a conclusion I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed and that you'll join me next time where the war's gonna really start I hope to see you then Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding Mr. Hitler?